Okay, it's Angel back in the Serenity Garden. Um, as I said before, I um, pick a day to bring a new product every day. And I had the pleasure of meeting a young woman um, in a network circle that I attended not long ago. And her name is Letitia Nicole. And she had the most sweet spirit. And um, unbeknownst to me, um, she has um, a special calling on her life that she has been um, known as the Speak Life um, personality up in um, Durham and abroad. And I had the opportunity to uh, meet with her and chat and wish I could be with her in her upcoming um, session that she's having a convention up in Durham. But unfortunately, as you know, uh, there's always schedule conflicts and conferences on top of conferences. I've, I've learned to understand that, you know, you can't be everywhere all the time. But um, I, I was able to purchase her book, and um, it is a wonderful piece. It's called, um, it's a 100-day devotional, and this is her, her book. And, let's see. And in this book, she has... Um, each day outlined a special scripture and um, some a narrative or reflection and some goals that you can make for yourself and I'm on day 23 in her book and I just like to talk a little bit about that because it is an important piece for me because I am an extremely confident individual but many don't believe that um, sometimes you can not love yourself just enough that you create your own fear and so um, day 23 talks about 1 John 4 and 18 there is no fear in love but perfect love cast out fear for fears has to do with punishment and whoever fears has not been perfected in love and that was profound to me and the reflection for the day was you are worth living if you have to convince yourself that someone loves you it's not love they are filling a void that you have do yourself a favor and get a hold before you add pain on top of pain and i could relate to that because um, i often looked at my situation as um, being devalued not my you know my personal relationships but my professional relationships and I think it's important that you know who you are and I thank God for being able to um, network with people and begin to understand myself and my value that I can add to our community and and it's all it, it's just been an awesome journey for me to uncover the secrets to um, to myself and to my love and um, I encourage you to get her book because these the affirmations are so good you can follow them and you can um, have something a guide um, to help you along your journey and and in it in her final she always recommends um, to find a solution and what she recommends for this particular day is open the vessels of communication and talk about it bring God into the circle and I thought that that was really good because I have spent the last couple of months in um, a, a great deal of uh, network power circles and I have gleaned from others and it's just been like I said we need to get out there um, uh, develop partnerships develop relationships with uh, um, individuals especially as business entrepreneurs because we um, a bit People are our business, and we must be able to establish and have relationships with others. And we must have healthy relationships with others. And so I thank God for her book. And um, again, her name is Letitia Nicole, and she's going to be having a conference, Speak Life conference, up in Raleigh, Durham, um, May 1st through the 2nd. And I encourage you to um, seek her out because she's an awesome woman of God doing some great things up in that area. And just a little information, I believe her website 
is www.LaticiaSpeakLife.com. That's www.LaticiaSpeakLife.com. And let's uh, continue to support one another and network with one another and build each other up. Thank you and have a great day.